welcome again in this video I'm going to show you demonstration of another Java JSP and Servlet project so the project name is hospital management system so here uh, first let's talk the features and functionality of the application and uh, after that we'll talk a bit about the code that we are using here different technologies in the project the important things how can you get the source code so just uh, in the bottom in the description or bottom of the video just check the contact details so you can connect us over the whatsapp skype or mail and we'll provide the complete source code with uh, remote uh, support to help you to set up the project at your machine obviously it's a paid project so you have to pay some minimal charges for the services so just check the detail in the description and connect with the code one so we'll help you to set up the project and your final year project with your final year project it contains the project source code um, database project report and if you want explanation the end-to-end -end, end -end services are there okay so please connect and uh, but let's see what we are doing in this project and the first thing like if you have already taken the project from code one or you are planning to get the project from code one you will get the setup in this state and after that you need to follow this demo in order to execute the application <coughs> So very first step you have to run your Eclipse in your machine so you can run the Eclipse from here uh, like like when you, when, when, you, when you search here uh, it will give you Eclipse option so you can run the Eclipse ID and after that you will see like this okay the next step uh, the MySQL work when just keep it running in the back end and to run the application just right click on the root folder of the application go to run as run on server select the configured server uh, at stormcat 8.5 click next click finish when you do this it will launch the browser and run the application over here so application is running over here now let's talk a bit about the tools and technology we are using here so in this the technology is java and with java we are using jsp uh, java server page servlets mysql java server page to handle the um, the re re response that is coming from the servlet side we are using jsp over here servlet is there mysql is there as a database and obviously the html and css and bootstrap we are using for a styling and element finding uh, element purpose so we are in html we are adding the elements and the css bootstrap we are doing some styling kind of things so two tools are there mysql workbench and eclipse eclipse is id where we can write your code and the mysql is a database uh, like like we can view the database over here in the mysql so it's a mysql workbench where we can perform multiple operations related to our database <coughs> operations so related to our database operations so uh, the next thing uh, let's execute the application how the features and functionalities are working over there so if you see the table here uh, you will see the mysql workbench like this and this is your hospital management database so just double click on it you will see all the tables so user roles patient and uh, appointment table is there in case you want to view the data of any table just right click on the uh, table select the first option you will be able to see the data of that particular table so now here we have a three types of user uh, role one role two role three so the first is admin the second is a doctor and third is a receptionist the person who is going to uh, sitting over the counter and attending to the customer directly so let's log in first as an admin and see what admin can do then we'll move to other user so to find out the username password of this account what i need to do i need to check my user uh, this uh, user table here we have admin uh, one two three and this is a password so we i need to enter that password the username over here so i already entered and click on the sign in when you hit the sign in button you will see the multiple options so add doctor and so a doctor section is there receptionist is there patient is there and uh, appointments uh, another thing under the my profile under the admin section you will see my profile change password and log out how can you add a new doctor here so we can add a new doctor so just click on the add doctor and uh, let's say i'm going to i'm adding a dummy data over here so just make sure you are while you operating the application uh, the project you are adding a meaningful data so i'm going to add a doctor so um, the doctor name is mr let's say let's say let's say let's say let's say john doc okay and the login id let's say i'm going to give it a john123 and the password 
I'm going to keep a combination demo it will be my password will be demo at the rate one two three so while you're entering the password make sure this might be using a kind of uh, validation so just make sure you are using some kind of combination like this a special character and yeah one two three and the capital letter and a small letter so it will be better email id so let's say i'm going to add a john at the rate gmail.com uh, not two time com so single time okay blood group let's say b positive mobile number some 10 digit valid phone number that should be start from 9 or 8 or something so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 gender uh, see here the important thing is data of birth so here make sure you are entering the data in the same format month date day and year so i just enter this age and age let's say i'm going to add the age is 35 CNIC number it means this is a unique number for every doctor so some so some kind of license thing so let's say I'm going to add this as a 5892345 something like this and a joining date it must be today's date so let's say I'm going to 11 uh, so, so 06 is a month 11 is a day and 2024 is a date and qualification like say MD and the CD, let's say I'm gonna add the CD is 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 is, is Mumbai. Specialization. Let's say we can enter any specialization and the address. Okay. So click on the save button. When you do this, you will see data is saved. Now, if I view the doctor list, I will be able to see that John here. Okay. What I can do here under the doctor list, I can search the any doctor by as email id so i just need to enter the email here click on the search button i will be able to see the data right so the filter option is over over here so let's say i want to search doctor by a first name so i can just enter the first name and i can search it okay so the next thing what other operation i can perform i can delete any record so let's say i want to delete this doctor so i just click on this checkbox and click on that delete we can edit it we can create a new record again and under the receptionist we can add a new receptionist so the same form we have to fill up here as a receptionist and some different parameters and i can check the list of uh, receptionist over here and these receptionist uh, will display all the data all the receptionist that is available into the database will be displayed over here from here i can search any receptionist by its name email and i can create a new record i can delete the record by checking this up so let's say i want to delete this record so i just check it up click on delete it will delete my record okay under the patient section um, especially uh, admin can also add and a patient like any patient is there is going to um, uh, any patient is there uh, we can add a new patient let's say so I say new patient last name first name I'm going to say other parameters like 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 like, like email doctor name so I have to assign one doctor so let's say we have recently added one doctor John Patel I'm going to add this doctor that group let's say uh, B positive married and married and the phone number of the user gender data words let's say i'm gonna add this 73 i'm gonna add the cn number some unique number if is there any identity so as customer from this customer this from Mumbai disease cons which disease is with the customer so what is the problem click on the save so data is saved successfully now uh, when i go to the patient list i can see the list here again into the list section we have a same option like we can search by first name email delete and new okay into the appointment section i can add a new appointment so here now uh, here what we can do into the appointment thing so we have to enter the first name of the customer last name of the customer doctor's name let's say john patel and the mobile number so i'm going to enter again the same contact number and the appointment length date let's say i'm gonna add 06 11 2024 2024 appointment time let's say 11 pm this is an address click on the save appointment is saved successfully now if i view the appointment table it will display me even this appointment will display to this doctor as well 
so other option into the admin side we have a my profile we have a change password we have a logout now uh, let's log in with the other user which is a doctor we should be a doctor and quickly just check the receptionist then we'll move to the doctor so we have this receptionist record here so this is my username or we can add a new receptionist we can log in that receptionist as well but i have existing data so i receptionist can't access all the features of the application there is some features like add, receptionist can add a new patient the into the hospital they can view the list of patients they can add appointments uh, and they can view the list of appointments so these are the features who can uh, who is will, who will be accessible for the patient user uh, for the receptionist and for the doctor doctor can check the appointment so whatever the appointments done by booked by the receptionist or admin it will be displayed to the doctor like admin doctor can't add any appointment but doctor can check the appointments for the, the that is scheduled admin also can check the like doctor also can check the patient list okay so this is all about the demonstration of a hospital management system now if i talk the project architecture and the technology what we are using here so already we have discussed over the technologies we are using java jsp and servlet to connect with the database it's using jdbc and connected with a mysql database and the next and other things so let's let's what uh feature what architecture is following is following mbc architecture so we have beans controller exception model utilities under the resources section we have a system dot configuration file where we are doing the all the configurations like uh, database connection and all this so it's uh the thing is there we are uh, creating a connection over there database connections uh, it's a maven project so using different dependencies and um, pom.xml is there to handle the data with transactions and uh, so servlets are there under the controllers it's going to perform the controller part and for the view section we are using jsps so we have different jsps uh, and uh, theme and template over there for the front end things so if you need the source code please connect to the code one and if you have any question feel free to connect with us we have multiple services like we can set up this code at your machine also we can explain the end-to-end -end flow of the internal architecture and internal code how the things are working so if you are preparing for an interview for a viva for a final year project please connect to code one thank you